In a few short hours from now, we'll mark 80 years since D-Day, where American troops and the Allied forces of World War II staged a daring operation to put forces on the ground in Nazi-occupied France. 7 News anchor Stephen Moore is at Heritage Port to tell us how one of the most famous military operations in history is being honored this year. Stephen. Michelle, it's hard for us to appreciate the scale of the Normandy invasion on June 6, 1944. 160,000 troops landed that day alone, and they landed in conditions so horrific it boggles the mind. Now, 80 years later, people will once again be landing in Normandy, but this time to pay tribute to the thousands of men that lost their lives. A lot of these men, they got on that aircraft uh, pretty much knowing that, you know, they, a lot of them knew that they probably wouldn't, wouldn't survive to hit the ground. Uh, you know, that was the, that was the, the thought back then. Vince Makala is a retired Green Beret who was part of the first Special Forces unit that entered Afghanistan following 9-11. Now, he's part of a group that's traveling to Europe to recreate the paratrooper jump into Normandy for the 80th anniversary of D-Day using the same planes from 1944. Jumping from the same aircraft that these young men jumped from, uh, one of them that is the Taiko Bell, I believe, a C-47, dropped troops on the morning of uh, June 6th, 1944, so you know, we're flying in a museum. Not only will they be flying in some of the same planes from 44, they'll also be landing in the same drop zones. However, they will be using modern parachutes. Vince's primary job will be to get the jumpers out of the door at the right place and time, but he also knows that he won't be able to keep the memory of those young soldiers out of his mind. That these young kids were sitting on that exact same aircraft and I can only imagine their anxiety and uh, nervousness. And you know, everyone has to face it uh, in their own mind, uh, come to grips with that fear, right? And uh, what they were going through as individuals. Vince hopes that more Americans will explore the history of World War II because time is moving it out of our minds. He also says that people in the modern era have no frame of reference for just how massive and how big a toll an operation like D-Day took on those soldiers. We lost a soldier in, in, our, in Iraq from our team, uh, Sergeant First Class Bill Bennett, and I remember how devastating that was. But uh, you can imagine entire squads or platoons just disappearing on the, on the beach, right? And for the ones that survived D-Day, their job was far from over. Those soldiers then went on to continue fighting until the war ended in 1945. Vince Makala's journey on horseback into Afghanistan was chronicled in the film 12 Strong. He's also a part of the group that makes horse soldier bourbon. I have a lot more details for you over at our website, WTRF.com. But for now, live at Heritage Port, I'm Stephen Moore, working for you. Thanks, Stephen. And happening tonight, WTRF will be airing a D-Day special tonight in honor of the 80th anniversary. That'll air tonight at 7 p.m. on WTRF ABC Ohio Valley. There will also be a re-airing of the special on Thursday at 7 p.m. on WTRF My Ohio Valley. 7 News is teaming up with